Do you think 1440p or even 4K will eventually replace 1080p as the default resolution, even for things like cheaper office monitors and laptops? And if yes, how long do you think it will take? God, I hope it's not too long. <laughs> I, I hate looking at laptops and you find one that you want and then it's a 1080p screen. Oh, well, actually lower than 1080p. 1080p is actually decent. Anyway, I'm getting off yeah. topic. Uh, <laughs> it may seem like overkill now, but I'm pretty sure the same was said about 1080p back in the day. So... Yeah, I got a bit sidetracked out the laptops. Actually, 1080p monitors are also annoying when you're looking at high refresh rate stuff, especially like 27 inch or whatever. Like 27 inch 1080p is not great. No, I was looking for a friend for a monitor the other day, and there was so many until I finally found like the 1440p ones, which they're still quite pricey. They start around four or five hundred dollars, uh, but In I guess show, that is a yeah. good monitor. Yeah, Australian dollars. Uh, but yeah, I'd like 1080p to to. 1080p sucks as well. It's certainly like 1440p and 4K isn't overkill. If you're, especially if you're doing something other than gaming, because Text if your resolution is so much better, if you're used are used to using a 4K or even a 144, uh, sorry, a 1440p monitor and going down to 1080p and having like a single window and uh, not being able to do side by side windows and stuff and having to just because you're already alt tab as it is, but you alt tab with multiple side by side windows and it just cuts your productivity right down. You know, yeah, they're they're a budget item, obviously. So I think with. With the 1080p on laptops, you still see the 1366 by 768 oh. panels on laptops. So yeah, that's what I was thinking of, so I think, mind you, when I was talking about the 1080p. I don't think 1080p will die, but it will get a lot cheaper. So I think your absolute bargain basement $50 is probably going to be 1080p. It'll be you, phased out at some point, though, right? Maybe. I mean... You reckon it won't be? Well... I guess it depends how cheap the other technologies go, but I could see it still being available just at cheaper and cheaper and cheaper prices. Like so a fifty dollar monitor. Yeah, I think a fifty dollar monitor at ten eighty p is probably because they're probably like, already new egg sales. You for could $50 probably still US. buy seven twenty p monitors that are ridiculously cheap. I, I don't know. I've, I don't really look into that market too much. Hmm. I think with fourteen forty p, we've seen pretty pretty substantial improvements in that market over the last couple of years. Hmm. Um, previously, you had to spend over five hundred dollars US to get a good quality fourteen forty p gaming monitor. Yeah. And these days, that price is halved, like two fifty for your sort of entry level panels, three hundred for a pretty like you get really good mid range three hundred dollar monitors, which isn't ten eighty p pricing yet, but two or three years ago that was just not even feasible. Yeah. Like, yeah. So as soon as it hits that two hundred dollar mark for like your fourteen forty p one forty four hertz decent quality panel for two hundred dollars then we'll very quickly see 1440p replace 1080p. But the issue, again, that you have is like 1440p skipped TVs. TVs went straight from 1080p to 4K. So how much brand awareness do people have about 1440p that are more casuals? You know, That's true. On a laptop, for example, 1080p is easy to market, 4K is easy to market, but people go, you know, what's 1440p? I, I haven't heard of that before. Yeah, okay. especially for like a very casual mm. um, buyer. But I've seen in the comments when we've talked about this, and I'm sure based on my comments about 1080p, this will come up again. A few people have said in the past that the upgrade from 1080p to 1440p visually isn't much of an upgrade, which I find mm. baffling because it's just, <laughs> yeah, it's to me, big. it's night and day. Yeah. It's bigger than the upgrade from 1440p to 4K, which I still consider to be quite a big noticeable upgrade. Yep. But for, in my opinion, and again, this is, I suppose, opinion-based, although I find it hard to believe that someone, the upgrade from 1080p to 1440p is just absolutely massive, in my opinion, and it seems like you agree as well. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, if if you care about visual quality and getting a, a better GPU, I'd certainly consider moving away from 1080p if that's where you are. Yeah, so I think 1440p is probably a couple of years off this. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd hope. I think it's we're pretty getting pretty close. 4K, though, we've only just started to get decent high refresh rate monitors. And I think 4K is a bit ridiculous as well because the GPU requirements from 1440p to 4K yeah, are massive. Yeah. So I think that that is a long way off um, from that perspective, from the perspective that you know, lower refresh rates are very quickly dying. So a lot of people, even on like, you know, there's a lot of talk even in just mainstream laptops, like, oh, that new Mac has a 120 hertz display. So I think quickly 60 hertz is dying and mm -hmm. all the cheap 4K monitors are 60 hertz. Again, 60 hertz needs to die so though. 60 hertz needs to die uh, and that should die. There are also people who say that from 60 hertz to like 120 or 144 isn't a difference, which again, I find absolutely 
that I find that more baffling than the resolution thing. Like just moving your mouse across the screen at like that speed on a sixty hertz is That's just like yeah. the ghosting and the trailer, and then you do it on a a one forty four hertz and it just follows perfectly. Yeah, like the the difference again is massive. And then if you play a game on it, um, I can't explain to you the difference. Yeah, so I think. 4K is going to have to face the battle of, well, first 60 hertz has to die. Well, and then, you know, the 144 hertz 4K monitors are quite expensive. So that's Yeah, and getting a GPU a that yeah. can render, you know, 100 FPS plus at 4K is very difficult. Yeah. But that, that's the other thing that's quite interesting. It, again, this is all my opinion. But visually, the upgrade from 1080p to 1440p is absolutely massive. But the requirements in GPU power aren't as significant i would say given the visual yeah, upgrade yeah. but then the visual upgrade from 1440p to 4k i would say isn't as significant i mean again the size of the screen and stuff probably plays a lot into this but the requirement in gpu power is very significant so mm. well, that's why hdr is so great because it's like a step again in quality mm -hmm. at no cost to yeah. performance in games at all and that's why it's so disappointing that there's no good hdr monitors because yeah. it basically is free visuals provided you have got the gpu obviously you have to pay and for the hdr monitor game but... support and software support yeah. And all so sort of stuff. yeah that's yeah. going to be the next step but anyway that's that's for a whole future time but yeah 1440p hopefully not too far away yeah